Ever get a package in the mail and you open it up and you get the knife out and you get it in your hand and you instantly, you instantly know this is a good one. We have two brand new Wii knives. They just dropped today. Everything will be linked down in the description. Just wait till you see the next knife. The first one is the new Wii Knives Magnetron. The Wii Knives Magnetron. And I gotta say, man, Wii is really stepping up their game. You know, it is all about the little details here, but you can really feel uh, a level of quality with both these models. Just wait till you see the next one. But this one, this one also, man, it is done extremely, extremely well. We have a clip point buoy blade and 20 CV with a hand set and finish. Beautiful finger toil and plunge grind. Then we have the titanium frame lock with these carbon fiber inlays. With the, I'm not usually a big fan of the holes, but these actually look pretty cool. It's got a nice little polished disc on the inside. Great access to the lock bar. Very grippy too. They put a little bit of texture inside the lock bar. The detent is absolutely mwah. It's perfect. The way they positioned the flipper tab is exactly where you want it. It's higher than the center of the pivot. You have a ton of leverage, and the second you break the detent, this thing flies. You're not going to ever fail this. You'd have to really try real hard to fail this because all you got to do is break the detent, and it snaps out with authority. And if you put any effort into it, yeah. You can hear when it closes the detent. Yeah, that <laughs> detent's nice, real nice. And the texture or the traction on the flipper tab grips you back really good. Very, very ergonomic, very slicey, hand melting ergonomics. Then we have this hidden lanyard pull or post back here. I like how they did that. It's nice and hidden. We have the Wii sign over here because they did not put it on the pivot. So we have micro milling all over the titanium, beautiful micro milling. And then it is nice and clean so you don't see any logos until you look at the clip. Then you can see the Wii logo. Very cool how they did that. It looks nice and clean, the whole thing. Even though it does have the holes in it, it still has a very clean look. The inlay work is done extremely, extremely well. Yeah, they, they knocked this out of, the, out of the park. And I'm not usually a huge fan buoy fan for edc knives but this one the tip's not up high or so high that i can't get to it so i can still do utility cuts it's definitely going to be a good slicer it would be a great it'd be a <laughs> i mean i know the type of knife it is you know you would probably wouldn't consider this but it would be a great hunting knife if it was put to the test and definitely a great self-defense knife let's bring up the star of the show the we exiton it is a limited edition. Now, I'm sure I've already pulled up all the different versions of this. There's many different versions of this, but there's only going to be 205 pieces per color, or at least that's to my understanding. But, man, this thing is... You just you know when you get your hands on the ones that are just like on another level, and that is this. It is very, very, very well done. We're going to pull up the Xiphius here in one second and do a little comparison. Uh, because they have some similarities, but this one has the drop point 20 CV blade with the dual grind We have a hollow grind here very thin behind the edge flat grind up here I love that swedge the jimping. I love the way the jimping is right there You know to the blade almost spears out. Oh, I love it good jimping too but on both knives this one has really good jimping too it really locks you in with your thumb is jimping that actually works now we have another uh great forward finger choil obviously a button lock action we'll get to that in one second then we have in this case because there's different versions this one has the carbon fiber backspacer that almost acts like an integral because it's one solid piece and i absolutely love side cut carbon fiber i think if we wanted to make another model that like from you know a whole different design and make sure that it does well do some side cut 
carbon fiber inlays, guys. Side cut carbon fiber. There's almost no production knife that I can think of that comes with side cut carbon fiber, unless if it's like on the backspacer, or sorry, not back, yeah, backspacer or something like that, or maybe the edge. In this case, you can see the side cut section on the edge across the entire back. It's a really nice cut. I love the way it looks. We have a nice hidden lanyard back here. Now look at this too. You wanna to talk about centering? Look at that, they gave you a little window to look at the centering. It's actually for the lanyard hole. <laughs> so you got a lanyard hole back here. The centering is perfect. And now let's talk about this detent because I'm starting to think that Wii's doing the best job with button locks. I I've got lots of great examples of button locks, even like Protect. Protect does a phenomenal job, right? They should be the king of button locks. Their detent is really good. I love the action on my Mordax. However, I have horrible detent lash. And, you know, they'll fix it. I'm sure they will. And that's not that big of a deal because I know they'll fix it, right? I have yet, yet to have found a button lock from Wii that had detent lash. They've all been perfectly solid and even the lockup, which I'm almost waiting for one to come and have up and down play because so far, and I can't speak for everybody else, but as far as the ones I've tried, none of them have had up and down play, which is somewhat common with button locks the side to side is rock solid you can you know you can obviously bend things but you know it's solid solid lock up no side to side play and then it is fall shut guillotine action the detent is exactly where you'd want it for a button lock and especially with multiple deployments so you have this very comfortable flipper tab that has great jimping on it so it almost grips you back and all you do is break the detent again so this is another one you can't fail it unless if you actually try to fail it like i i could probably fail it if i really try but man i have to try all i do is just attempt like right there i was trying to fail it but just attempt to flip it and it's flipping out then if you just grab and flip it yeah, it's hammering out there. Great detent. And then you also have the other deployment option, which is equally as good. And for them to tune a button lock this well between the two deployments, I got to give them credit for that. It got to. Now, really quick, the Wii Ziphius um, is a phenomenal knife. It's another one. I've been raving about it. You guys know it was on the list for the best, one of the best knives of 2023. It got the it got uh, one of the top five top five best knives of 2023 so far, but I gotta say, I think this one's gonna take its place. Um, you know, maybe they could both wind up. Maybe they'll just both end up in the running. I try not to do that, but in this case, it just might be because I absolutely love this knife and it has the multiple deployments too. And I think there's a couple left of this one. If you're wanting to get it, once it's sold out, it's gone. Um, you know, I, I obviously would love it if they would just make a certain addition of this and this and just continue doing them, you know, maybe another unique one or something and just always do that one so that it's not a limited edition and then just make these colors a limited edition or something. I don't know, but wow, the Wii Ziphius, this one has the titanium backspacer instead of the carbon fiber, but they do have the same backspacer on the Wii Ziphius, I think still available, I think, don't quote me, but I'll link it down in the description if so. But yeah, I think this one overall beats it. And I can explain a couple reasons why. One, we have a dual grind, it's a hollow grind, so it's gonna have a little bit better geometry, very, very thin. The drop point blade is, you know, don't get me wrong, I love a Warncliffe. So in, in some cases, this might even be more useful than this blade, especially for utility cuts. But, you know, a drop point is just, it's the most versatile blade shape you could ask for. So I gotta give it to it, even though I absolutely love the Xiphius. But damn it, this is so good. I do have one negative. I have one negative that we're gonna talk about really quick because it, it's, it's petty. It's petty, but you know, I gotta cope with something. So you can see where the stop pin hits. Stop pin hits behind the edge, but it's very far behind the edge. So it hits like right here. I wish it was back here. So it was in the thicker area. It's not even that it's in a thin area. It's just, I want this steel to sharpen out, but there's plenty of life to sharpen out. You And it's so thin behind the edge right here that you're gonna have no problem ever hitting where the stop pin lands. So let me just make that clear. I'm only nitpicking because I prefer it to be way, way out of the way, but it is out of the way. So, so is that really even a complaint? I don't know. I don't know. 
I am planning on sending some of these in to get HRC tested. I want to see exactly where they sit um, because we know what they claim. Um, but I've heard other people that have tested it said that they actually came out higher than some of their claims. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, the one thing I guess I could throw in out as a negative, which is not even that big of a deal. I'm not a big fan of blasted finishes. I wish this was a satin. This would be so awesome if this was a, a dual ground satin. So, you know, a satin with the, the, the striations going this way right here and then maybe this way up here in the nose or something just to where it was a satin finish instead of a blasted but it doesn't stop me from loving it you know it's just a preference thing um titanium mill pocket clip works great in and out of the pocket and that goes for this guy too they're doing a really good job with their clips so i usually don't sit there and say like oh i recommend this or anything like that i let you guys decide that but in this case i am gonna say it you know yes i recommend these um this one especially because it's limited so you're not going to have very long to get it you're only going to have so much of a chance 205 pieces per color so this one will be available but it's the little fine details man it's them little details like the type of jimping it has you know the size and comfort of the flipper tab the tension from the detent down to the lock bar access and the traction on the lock bar where the detent is placed when you disengage it so it's easy to get past how it closes in the detent sucks that blade back in all the way to like the way it opens when you slowly open it that lock bar just engages itself in you can the precision and build quality is just phenomenal and it's those little tiny details that they just they hit over and over and over that really make certain knives stand above the crowd and both of these knives absolutely have those little details you know like i said even like the the actual jimping itself really good jimping this is like my favorite kind of jimping if you're gonna have functional jimping you know it's one thing to just to have jimping but functional jimping wow and then this one man it looks like a damn race car like look look at it. doesn't that look like a race car to you and i i love cars so damn it this thing is so yeah anyways um i don't want to keep gushing until next time peace